Hey Crazy Gamer Models Patreon supporters. How's it going? It's another Patreon um, early video for you guys. It's going to go up on Patreon before it goes up on YouTube. It is a tool review as always. And I wasn't even going to do a tool review on these. I had bought these um, a few weeks, maybe a month ago. And I was like, alright, I'll throw it away. It's, you know, no big deal. But it's some razor saws. It's Hasegawa's Tri-Tool. Their modeling saw set TP-3 um, Hasegawa Hobby Kits. Got it at Amazon. I'll put a link in the description, hopefully. If I can find a link. So, here's what they look like. They come on a piece of white card with a piece of cardboard behind it. They're made out of stainless. Um, photo etch, kind of like and then um, let me get them off of here because I tried to get them off. I showed them off in another video that I'll be out in a while. We'll be out for a while. But um, I just wanted to try them compared to my Tamiya um, modeling saws. And this is my Tamiya Photo Edge modeling saws. And as you can see, you can see the teeth. Let's go in a little bit. Get below the light more you can see the teeth on these so let's try this piece of cardboard so you can see the teeth are fine you can see the teeth right there they're tiny but if you look at the teeth on this saw got plastic on it using it um, I mean I don't know how much closer I can get with it still being a focus you don't see any teeth, but they're there. They are tiny, and they are super close together. And these things cut great. And you don't even need them in a handle. I mean, I basically, um, on the Tiger One Building Techniques Kit, I'm in here, you know, cutting off clear parts just like this. You know, cutting some clear parts off. But you'll see in that video in the future, this will go up this week. Um, and it, it cuts smooth and perfect. And it's, it's way less chattery or rough than, than like the, the teeth on the Tamiya saw. And we'll try to get a side-by-side -side comparison of the teeth here. The teeth are on this side. But you can see the Tamiya teeth barely. You cannot see the Hasegawa tri-tool teeth. So, let's look at all the different ones you get here. And then we'll, we'll take a... And now, there's some different size teeth in each one of these here. This one, you know, I'll cut my thumbprint on it, check that out. Um, it's got a little bigger teeth and a lot of different shapes. Some of these can go into a handle, um, you know, different things. Some of these, you know, you use by hand. You put a little piece of... Um, Poxy sculpt on it, um, things like that. A nice angular one. So another handheld one. This one appears to have larger teeth on one side and microscopic teeth on this side, as does this round one. So that that I just now noticing this. This side is microscopic teeth. Well, not microscopic, but tiny teeth. And this side right here is the larger teeth. I wonder if this one is the same way. Nah, this back side of this one is smooth, but the teeth are there. And I don't see any teeth anywhere else. So, um, yeah, so this one right here, can't find it. This one right here has the, um, the teeth, large teeth. Tiny teeth, medium teeth, um, just regular teeth. Um, this has the super tiny teeth round, around right here. Tiny teeth, normal sized teeth. And this has super tiny teeth starting around here, going around here, and then stops right there. So right there. And then this one here has tiny teeth all the way to there and then there's a connection point and then all the way from here all the way down to here so 
that's super interesting so let's pop some of these out and check them out better we use my Zeron um, photo at shears which I talked about in the video he's going to cut them out this is thick stainless man I don't think you're going to do this with a knife we'll just pop these out alright doesn't feel like it needs to be sanded but I was going to hit it with a sanding stick here just a coarse um, squadron product sanding stick here because I don't like the sanding stick on plastic I know I should be using a file for this but I don't want to use my good photo etch file I basically got it, so. So, we got this, you know, nice little saw. It's got a little sticky on it. This is their TP3-1. And, um, let's see what we can carve up here. Um, I got some sprue. And I'm guessing most of these are designed to be used by hand. Cause you're not going to put it in a tool holder but let's just let's just take this for example here and let's just go in here like so and i'll put i mean i i pretty much i pretty much forced my way through that and it cut through it it left a nice finish until i broke it off at the end but i was you know pretty hogging it out just to see how durable it was and it didn't bend or anything it didn't even it didn't even really flex. I mean, I wouldn't try that with this little fine one. And I only want to keep I want to keep this for my clear parts because that worked great on the clear parts. I cut out um, all these parts and it cut it out fantastic. Uh, so let's just take a look at some more of these here. Let's take a look at this round one. This one's fascinating to me. Always wear safety glasses when you're cutting these little pieces off, like this, guys, because this could fly right in your eye. Do some damage. Alright. Just take off that little nub. So we have this one has the two different size teeth on it, and let's see how this this works here with holding it and trying it out here. So let's, I guess you know you could probably use these to scribe too. You know you come in there and you just. So this is the round one, and it's like holding a coin. I'm not getting any flex. You know, it's not probably not designed to be used like this, but you know, I could go in one direction, just like so, and I can cut through pretty good here. I don't want to go up and down because it's sharp on both sides, but as you can see, if I change my grip, I can go up. So, I mean, I'm sure it has its uses. I mean, the fine edge on all these blades is what has me interested because it's nice. I mean, for cutting clear parts, this is my thing. I don't like to use clippers on my clear parts. I like to um, I like to cut them out with a razor saw, and I've been using Tamiya's saw, um, as you'll see in some building techniques videos. But um, I'm going to pop out this other piece here that's clear that I'm not going to use. So I'm going to use this one because it's a little bit bigger here. And it's got the double sided on it. So it's got the double sided. Well, this stuff is thick. 
I'm, I'm assuming it's stainless. I don't think it says. We're going to take a look. Let's look at that package here. Let's see. It, it's all in Japanese. It does have a telephone number you can call in Japan. So let's just take this here and we'll cut one we'll cut this off with the thick side here now I want to cut that one with the fine side so let's cut this with zoom in, zoom in guys too much sorry sorry all right here we go let's just try this here now this is the fine side Now listen, this isn't the optimal condition for this because I wouldn't normally be doing it this way. But you know, I would brace the part better, but I'm doing it on camera. So that, that slice that off. And the finish is the finish is good. Oh. Finish is good. A little bit of just clean up there a little bit clean that up with my fingernail mostly a little bit of clean up there um, we'll try the coarse side of this saw down here and um, oh that one's not gonna fit in there so let's find one let's find another one that'll fit in there that has a coarse side will that fit yeah this one will fit and it has the coarser side on it right here So let's just pop this one out here. Yeah, I never thought I'd be doing a tool review on these. I just thought they're, hey, you know, they're razor saws, whatever. You hold them in your hand, how hard, I mean, you know, I don't even remember buying them, but it's like, I'll try them out. I don't think they were expensive. But uh, I got that cut out there. It's this one. It's got a little bit coarser teeth than the fine side of the other one we used. And I'm just going to come in here, hopefully on camera, and I'm just going to cut this out right here. Right here, just like that. So even this little slightly coarser side, it, it, it's a little tougher to cut out. It's not as smooth but it cut it out. Um, now let me show you with the, the fine side of this one. This one only has a fine side on it. And then we'll just do this last section here. And we'll, no, it's got a nice long reach on it. Hopefully I can do this. I gotta reposition the camera. It's just, it's good, but then I can't get up close see things very well so there we go so that clean that I took that off just a little slight section there and I'll clean up real nice um, and then this side this side really is nothing hardly and then this is the top section that we used that one small tool on so that is that so we have examined put my clear sprue away before it gets even more scratched because we did a whole thing on that so that's basically it let's bring the package back so you can see what it is let's zoom us back out because it's going to do it for this tool review it is the Hasegawa tri-tool I'm going to try to find a link for this um, I'm going to look at my history and see when I bought it too but it basically you get some photo wedge saws and they are fantastic they have tiny teeth and medium teeth, um, and both of which are smaller than the Tamiya saw. And the Tamiya saw um, are a little thinner and bend, and these are a little, little more durable, I think. I don't know. They have to get more use out of them, but these feel more durable than the Tamiya razor saws. So 
and also the ones that would fit in a handle look like they would um, work out pretty good so you have two of those this one and that one so I'm also going to see if they have any other sizes or shapes this is fantastic so another great tool um, I recommend it highly um, that's going to do it thank you to my Patreons um, if you're watching this after my Patreon saw it um, head on over to my Patreon page link is in the description and you guys get these tool reviews early and you guys get to see them um, sometimes a week ahead of time sometimes I don't even put it on YouTube sometimes I leave it on my Patreon page but I do eventually make it public on my Patreon page so um, for a little as a dollar a month you get access to these tool reviews you get um, enter entries into the giveaway for five dollars a month you get five entries a month in giveaways are not a month but yeah each month for um, upcoming giveaways which is for a MIG um, some MIG products, uh, modeling tool grab bag, um, possible Warhammer stuff, things like that. So, you know, check it out and, and oh, you know, help if you want to. It does help the channel. I'm able to get more things to review and, you know, come up with some more surprises like, um, like this right here. Um, I guess the model number is TP-3. So... Um, so, hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you again to my Patreons for Crazy Gamer Models. I am the Crazy Gamer. You guys have a fantastic day.